All the ballots for the 22nd general election of South Korea have now been counted, with the makeup of the new parliament taking shape. Our National Assembly correspondent Lee Shifu explains the breakdown of the new 300 seats. The counting of ballots to decide the 22nd National Assembly of South Korea is now complete. According to National Election Commission, out of 254 possible seats representing local districts, the main opposition Democratic Party of Korea took 161, the ruling People Power Party 90, while there was one seat each for the minors, Hemire, New Reform and Jinbo parties. As for the 46 proportional representation seats, the PPP Satellite People Future Party secured 18 seats, while the DP Satellite Party, the Democratic United Party of Korea, including candidates from the Jinbo Party, secured 14. From minor camps, the Rebuilding Korea Party launched by former Justice Minister Cho Kuk won 12 seats, while the New Reform Party, led by the former PPP leader Lee Jun Seok, won 2. This means that in total, the DP and its satellite occupy more than the majority of the new assembly with 175 seats. That's 58.3% of all seats in the parliament. Moving forward, the DP may have additional support in parliamentary procedures from 14 other minor opposition lawmakers elected, representing the Semire, Rebuilding Korea and Jinbo parties. Meanwhile, the PPP and its satellite will occupy a total of 108 seats. That's 36 percent of overall representation. The PPP may have support in parliament from three representatives elected from the New Reform Party. The DP won in many of the capital districts, taking victory in several key battlegrounds along the so-called Hangang River Belt. Traditionally liberal Tollado provinces and traditionally battleground Chungcheongdo province voted in favor of the main opposition. Meanwhile, the PPP won fewer seats in the capital region but did secure traditionally conservative districts in Gangnam-gu. Historically conservative Gyeongsangdo province also voted mostly in favor of the ruling party. This distribution isn't vastly different from the previous 21st assembly elected four years ago. As we've seen in the previous large opposition, small ruling parliament, the opposition now has the opportunity to take control of parliamentary moves with its numbers, leaving the UN administration without the momentum needed to push through its objectives. Lee Shi-hoo, Arirang News.